Meanwhile, Northern elders have promised to firmly defend the mandate freely given to the APC presidential candidate, Ashwa Jibola Tinubu, in the February 25th presidential election. They also described as illegal and undemocratic alleged plots to install an interim government in the country. Lupe Asom has more. The Ariwa Elders Convention gathered to deliberate on what they describe as unhealthy developments which have followed the 2023 general elections. Bola Tinubu emerged victorious at the presidential level and the two frontline opposition parties also approached the courts to challenge the results. But worrying to these elders are alleged plots to install an interim government in place of a democratically elected one, as confirmed by the DSS. Not only do they condemn such plots in its entirety, they also call on security authorities to arrest known proponents. We condemn in loud, clear and unambiguous tone the resort to illegal and unconstitutional ways being pursued by Mr. O Peter Obi and Mr. Deti Baba Ahmed of the Labour Party, which are capable of truncating our democracy. Unhealthy ethno-religious comments amount to incitement that can lead to public disorder. The elders condemn such utterances, which are similar to events that led to the 1966 military coup that claimed the lives of northern elders. They promise to resist such move and also call on security authorities to wake up to their responsibilities. If a group of military officers now gather together and start planning a coup against this country, they will be smartly rounded up, detained, investigated, tried and if found guilty, they will be sentenced to death. Why should the case of a civilian trying to truncate our uh, democracy be different? We do not know anything called interim national government. It has no basis and nobody has the statutory right to having appoint any international government for this country. The warning has been sounded. Nobody will tolerate anything that looks like what happened in 1966. Ashwa Jibala was voted massively by the people of the North and the North stand firmly to defend and protect this given mandate. Now we notice that the agitation is taking a dangerous turn, you know, for our country. A dangerous turn and we can, it's not acceptable. The coalition of Ariwa elders is made up of representatives from the Jamia Matar Ariwa, Ariwa Youth Forum, Southwest Ariwa Community and the Gamji Heritage. Collectively, they again reiterate their commitments to the unity and corporate existence of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Lupe Asom, TVC News, Kaduna.